Why Star Royco is a family. A family that spans four continents, entertainment, news, and resorts, working together. All through history, successions are like points of conflict. I'm interested in power, interested in politics, interested in money, super interested in family. And when I started to feel that that could all come together on this canvas, it was exciting. The first episode is really about a man giving his empire away. And then by the end of the first episode, he's beginning to take it all back. I'm going to give it a couple of years. And then nature intervenes. Dad. Dad. Our father has raised us to expect succession. He's given us the tools to do it, and then he's tied our hands behind our back. Dad will judge you, and you're always looking for that approval that you're just never going to get from him. I'm going to have to talk to my lawyers just for all the implications. Of course. Take a beat. There's a slight level of immunity for Shiv with what she could get away with her dad, because he can see that she's very capable, very headstrong. To Logan Roy. Logan, Logan Roy. Roy. There's this scene where we set a dolly track around the table and it was entirely improvised and there's huge pieces of that in the show. One of the great things is to have the writer of the show while you're directing and I would suggest other lines and he was really just open to the idea of improv. Team writing is more familiar in the US than the UK, but it's great for a show with this kind of breadth. I think it helps to fill out that large world that we've got. I trusted my father, that's a black mark. It's an accumulation. There's something very Shakespearean about the script, just in terms of how the story is shared out between the various characters, and yet it's modern and it's blackly funny. The potential is enormous. It's going to be a roller coaster.